Hello, and welcome to Zero Things, a video about diversity, opportunity, and 3D printing. My name is Josh Ajima, and online I go by Design Make Teach. So if you try and fact check this video and you find a designer model with Design Make Teach as the author, that's me. Three things about me that might give you some context for, for this video is I'm a high school technology resource teacher. I help teachers integrate technology in the classroom. Uh, I'm a 3D printing fanatic. I love 3D printing. And I identify as HAPA, which means half. I'm half Japanese and half Caucasian. So in 2014, I'm walking by the library in my school and there's display cabinet and it has a Martin Luther King uh, Jr. display. And I think, hey, I should 3D print something for that, uh, that display cabinet. Looks a little sparse. I'm going to find something and 3D print it. So I go on to a 3D printing repository called Thingiverse, which, um, where I could download something and then 3D print it. And so I search for Martin Luther King, and I find zero things. And of course, I search for different permutations, Martin Luther King Jr. and MLK, and I don't find anything. Hmm. Sounds like a great opportunity for me to post some designs. So I found a public domain image of Martin Luther King. I went to a Thingiverse customizer and turned it into a lithophane, which is an object when you shine a light through it, the picture shows up. I went to the Google SketchUp warehouse and I found a low poly model, converted that to an STL for 3D printing and uploaded both of those models to, to Thingiverse. Now, the next month was Black History Month. So I wanted to 3D print something. I did a search and I found zero things. I searched for black history, African-American history, uh, a lot of different keywords, but wasn't able to, to find anything. Hmm, this seemed odd. So maybe search on Thingiverse is broken. So I searched for Yoda and I find 269 results. Zero things for black history, 269 results for 3D printable Yodas. Now, the next month was Women's History Month. And again, I search for women's history and I find zero things. Women's History Month, zero things. Now, just a word of warning, if you search for women or females on some of these 3D printing repos repositories, you're gonna find a lot of things that are not safe for work. So, fair warning for you. So imagine telling kids, hey, we have these new 3D printers, they're super exciting. Uh, you should go and find something to uh, download and 3D print. And for that student to find zero things that represent their interests, their identity, their heritage, or in culture. Like them being able to find nothing about them. Now in my school, we have a lot of ELL students from El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. And so when National Hispanic Heritage Month uh, came around, I searched for Hispanic and Latina and Latino, and I found zero things to, to 3D print. So I worked with the ELL teachers and we took this as an opportunity for students to take a Sharpie uh, and just draw, on, draw some designs on, on paper. We digitized them and put them in Thingiverse and then 3D printed them. Uh, in this case, it says Guanaco, which is a nickname for Salvadorans, and this student writes, I am proud to be Salvadoran. And so we didn't just do this with one kid, we did this with uh, a lot of the designs from, from this ELL class. Not all of them were able to be digitized in a format that you could 3D print, but we were able to put up a number of those uh, uh, designs and publish them onto, onto Thingiverse. Now, not only did we publish student designs, we found that there were a lot of designs that were just hard to find uh, searching for Hispanic and Latino. And so we curated a Hispanic and Latino heritage and culture collection. Uh, we searched, we did some research, and we found uh, a number of these models and assembled them into a collection. Thingiverse kind of found out about this, and they put this uh, collection on the front page of, of Thingiverse, which I'm told is the only collection curated by someone who's not a Thingiverse employee uh, to, to kind of ever be on the front page of, of Thingiverse. So to tell you kind of how big of a deal it is to have a collection or model featured, this is my hidden figures model. And so this graph here shows the number of views. When it first comes out, you know, tens or hundreds of views, and then it's featured on the front page and it goes up to thousands thousands of views, and then when it comes off the front page, uh, the, that number of views just kind of drops off the face of the earth. So, 
Maybe your zero things has nothing to do with identity, heritage, and culture. Maybe your zero things is about something like the Chesapeake Bay watershed. So here's a model that I helped develop for an earth science teacher who wanted students to understand why like water in New York ends up in the Chesapeake Bay watershed. Maybe you're a geometry teacher and your zero things has to do with nets of a cube. So the Virginia Standards of Learning had a question about uh, which of these nets of the cube actually fold up to, uh, to form a cube shape. So we developed and designed 3D models that um, some of them folded up into the correct shape and some of them didn't. And so it's not ex just about creating these models or designs. It's about making it so that people can actually find them. It's about keywording them correctly. It's about all these modern digital information skills. It's about publishing research to give people some context about the, uh, about the model and what it represents. So what I learned from this, this project and this work is that zero things can become one thing. And one thing can become uh, become many things, and that uh, students can have an opportunity to, uh, to add knowledge to the world and, and add digital designs. So, for all of this, I wish for you and your students the excitement and frustration, um, the joy and the despair, but most of all, the opportunity of finding your zero things. Thank you. My name is Josh Ajima. You can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, uh, design make, at designmaketeach, and at designmaketeach.com. Thank you.